Hi strangers, yes, it's another day closer to Halloween. Let's go and do some Halloween shopping over, yes, in Primark. Let's go. <laughs> Hello everyone, yes we're in Primark and we're starting straight away with the shopping with lots of Nightmare Before Christmas pyjamas. Check these out. I thought these were incredible. The images on them are so cool. They are £20. That's quite expensive for a set of PJs but they are so cool. Some Jack Skeleton slippers. And they've got Christmas labels on them already. That was They were £7. I really like them, they're quite fluffy. And the stripes on the bottom were very cool. Then I found some Wednesday Adams pyjamas. These are really cool. They had shorts and a belly top t-shirt, I believe. And it had a white collar. Oh, then this. This jumper had Jack Skeleton at the bottom in white. And then the top, it had a nightmare before Christmas. And it looked warm and fluffy. And on the back, it had writing as well. All embroidered. So looking quite posh. £16, that's not bad. So very good price on that. They did have some trousers as well, but I couldn't see a price on them. Then I found some more PJs. The image on this was so cool. I love this like fuzzy grey colour around the outside. They were £13. But yeah, I really like them. Oh my goodness. There is Grinch stuff out already. Can you believe it? And I did find this as well i know lots of people say that this is a cat i think i've never seen it is it an anime or a cartoon i need to find out still i still haven't found any videos about it yet i thought i'd show you guys that this is um harry potter hogwarts pajamas oh my goodness it's just christmas everywhere already and look at all this grinch stuff hi Look at all this Grinch stuff. So there is already Grinch fluffy pyjamas. The Grinch is my spirit animal though. I totally get why he doesn't like Christmas. £15. And yeah, they had just had so many of them in here. You also had these teddies as well. And pyjamas that match the adult ones here as well in child sizes and stockings i just couldn't get over how there's so much grinch stuff in here last year the grinch stuff didn't come out until the middle of december so i'm very surprised to see how early it is down here at this year they had a bauble of the grinch three pound fifty and a hairband as well and some slippers which looked very peculiar. I couldn't, I didn't know what they were to start with. I thought they were like oven mitts or something. And they also had a costume for your dog. And <laughs> I thought it was quite cute, but at the same time, I'm like, no, why is there so much Christmas in here? I want Halloween. They had this really cute stitched um, pajama set and Miffy. My kids love Stitch and Miffy, so I don't know. I'm on the hunt for Halloween. Husband has told me that he has found something over here that I might find interesting. So I'm following him along to the till section. And what the, what is this? There is a Beetlejuice blanket and the hood has only his forehead and hair on it. <laughs> this is the most weirdest thing I've ever seen and it's £16 and this is what it looks like so it's just a small blanket that you can wrap around yourself but the hood has got Beetlejuice hair 
Now, this is funny and just weird at the same time. <laughs> I'd love to know, would you get this? Of course, I had to look around to see if there's anything else. And um, yeah, I just couldn't see anything else that was Beetlejuice. There was so much Beetlejuice last time I came in. I went up to the men's section next. And I was having a laugh with my husband because I, I think this kind of stuff suits him and he hates it. So I made him try this hat on. He didn't like the idea. But <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Proof. It suits him. It's weird. Again, always looking for winter coats and things and always looking for black up in the men's section. Oh my goodness. There is Santa shirts. A Homer jumper i don't know if you guys like homer simpson or the simpsons oh no and a gonk a christmas gonk now please save me from these gonks please so even in the men's section already had their christmas grinch jumpers out and then i did find some t-shirts there was a long sleeve white t-shirt with jack skeleton there was a joker one why should i have all the fun and then this really cool, I think I saw this one last time I was in. I thought I'd show you again. It's this really cool ghost face t-shirt. I think all the t-shirts are around £10 in here. There's another Joker t-shirt. That was £12. And then they've got a Shining t-shirt. Oh, I love the Shining, that movie is amazing. Another Joker t-shirt. Is there another film coming out that I've missed? There is a white Nightmare for Christmas jumper. A Beetlejuice t-shirt of the sign. And that is £10. Another white t-shirt. Say it three times Beetlejuice. And a white jumper. So lots and lots of white stuff which I stay clear of because I don't like white there is a christmas gremlins t-shirt in here now <laughs> why <laughs> please shops they have to understand that it has to be halloween first i found a wicked t-shirt i've never seen the, the like show wicked and i'm not sure really what it's about i'm not sure at all i know it's got a witch in it but yeah if you're into that they sell wicked t-shirts in here too so yep yeah, we're still hunting around for halloween and then i spotted this jack skeleton suitcase i am going away on a trip so i was really excited and frantically looking to see how much it cost and i think it was like 40 pound um it's a lot of money for a small suitcase, so I didn't get it, sadly. So let's go over and see if they've got any other Halloween stuff. Oh my god, what is this? Is this a old girl witch gonk? Are they... is there female ones now? What is that? Well, at least it's Halloween, but that can go away. They had some pumpkin lights in here. So yes, we have found some Halloween stuff still. This is really cute. But £6. So medium price. Then they had this really cute little ghost here holding a little pumpkin. That was £3. So that's really cheap. But then Christmas again. Look at it all. I think that most of the shops haven't been so ready for Halloween this year. They've been ready for Christmas. They have filled the shop of Christmas in October. So we were looking for some socks at this point because we needed to get some new ones to go away with. And uh, didn't have anything like cool. Like if I buy socks in here, sometimes I buy like Batman and stuff. <laughs> A Shrek onesie. <laughs> Uh, respect my authority 
I love South Park. Is anyone else a South Park fan? I'd love to know. Okay, you can hear that. <laughs> I am definitely getting this for my son. <laughs> for Christmas, my oldest. <laughs> he will hate me. It would be hilarious. Okay, let's go downstairs and have a look to see if we can find any more Halloween. Lots of bags and things. So yeah, we're walking through here. We've just been on this floor. And it's really quiet in here today. Really nice. Oh, Scooby-Doo. Um, is that bananas in pyjamas I saw? So we're going to go down to the ground floor now and see what's down there in the lady section. I'm very excited. I really hope there's more Beetlejuice and a few Halloween t-shirts down here. Are you guys all ready for Halloween? Have you brought anything from Primark over the Halloween period? Is there anything you've picked up and I've missed maybe? They did have a reduced section and I noticed they had over here a Beetlejuice t-shirt. Again, a white, which is something I wouldn't get, but it's got a cool design on it. And then a Jack Skeleton with zero. And this Beetlejuice, and this Beetlejuice t-shirt, which is really cool, but again white. I really like these big baggy jeans, but I'm not sure if I get any. Oh, Halloween! I found this little black cat headband, and they still got a few Beetlejuice hair, like ties in here, and these really cute clips. Then my husband spotted these, the really cute little makeup holders. And I thought this would be great to go away with because it's got three different compartments and I can put all my makeup in different bits. And then they had this like this lunchbox bag kind of type thing, which is just a you can, just a big gap to put stuff in. I really liked both of them, I thought they were really cool. Let's see if there's anything else Halloween in here. Oh, oh, look at this. That's really cute. There's a little mummy bath bomb. And anything else? A cute little white and purple ghosty. And I had a spider headband as well. Again, I was just curious to see if I could find anything I could make more goth or anything. And then I spotted this. I always think I look really silly in a beret. I used to have to wear one for school as part of my uniform at one time. So I thought I'd give it a go at my age now to see how I felt about it. <laughs> I felt like a fool and very French. No offence to French people, of course. Again, I was looking to see if there's any coats in here or jackets or jumpers. I am a jumper monster. I love autumn. So I can just snuggle down in a big jumper. And this, I love this jumper. It was so big, it went all the way to the floor. Perfect, sitting on the sofa, knees up in it, jumper. It even had a grey one that I quite liked. And husband said that we had to get out because I was going mad. So let's go. I had a look in Anne Summer's window on the way through as well to see what Halloween stuff they had in. And of course I was having a giggle with the husband saying that he should get one of these for sure.
you've got yours. So we had a really good time looking around Primark. We did find a few Halloween things, but mainly Christmas things which is a bit depressing but it was really nice to go around the shop and to go shopping with my husband it's been a little while he's got two weeks off now ready for us to go away oh, so excited it's gonna be so fun i hope you guys come along and find out what happens when we're away and yeah i will see you next time and please don't forget be weird be yourself and be different because otherwise you're just super boring and I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>